infrastructure, roads, bridges, electricity. Often we don't think about it until we hit a pothole in the road or there's a blackout, but that's just a sign of how smoothly our infrastructure is functioning and all that it does for us. From transportation of goods, to watching YouTube videos, to even just a hot cup of coffee, infrastructure enables, and because of that, it's a huge part of sustainable development. Building good roads not only offers a smoother ride, but allows people to reach a hospital in half the time, or to take a job in a city that otherwise would have been too hard to get to. And that translates into healthier, more productive lives. Accurately assessing infrastructure is an important part of both planning and monitoring development projects conducted by governments and NGOs. Assessing infrastructure helps guide smart investment, ensuring that dollars are put towards where they can do the most good. But even beyond direct infrastructure investment, these assessments are helpful. Knowing what areas have reliable access to electricity is going to influence how you deploy a solar microgrid project, for example. But right now, infrastructure assessment isn't so easy. It's mostly done through surveys, which necessitates sending someone to often remote or barely accessible places. And this means that present infrastructure assessments are expensive, unexhaustive, and hard to scale. Satellite imagery offers a way around it. From space, satellites can photograph virtually every spot on the globe at a fraction of the price for what it would cost to send a person there. We use a neural network, the same kind that's good at recognizing pictures of cats, to recognize patterns of different types of infrastructure. Using survey data as ground truth, we trained the network on geo-matched images and asked it to predict, does this area have access to infrastructure? Overall, we found that this is a very promising area. There are improvements to be made, but it already has a lot of potential to complement existing surveys. Satellites and deep learning together, a new tool to enable data-driven, sustainable development. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about our model, our methodology, or our results, please take the time to read our paper.